As long as I play this smart, I will have this under control. A couple more hits ought to do. One more hits? One more hit. No, that might be it for him. Never mind, there's more. We're following it up once again. I still need a lot of upgrades. $500,000 to start. I understand that this smelter actually makes me money by combining ores into better ores. So I'm going to max that out right away because we're going to make more money. That's just a better investment. Now it's just going to be a matter of trying to find all that valuable stuff for now. There's definitely a lot of gems that I scooted right past last time. So I'm going to spend some time in these shallow areas cleaning up some of these. Plus, I'm pretty sure I need to be finding lots of those little pink uh, geometric shapes. There's actually a ton of gems around this shallow area that I missed. So I'm actually gonna make a lot of money. Well, I'm going through this anyway. Don't have a choice. Oh, cargo is full anyway. My first trip down and I'm already running out of fuel. I didn't even go that far down. So we're going from 170,000 all the way up to 411,000 just from a short little trip down. What do you think the alien skull is worth? I totally just screwed up how to get over there, but... 2,500. I've found those before. Not as fun as I thought. Found a way to use the bomb to get at least two of these, which are very valuable. And the third one. Up to $626,000 after that. I'm actually going to look upwards just a little bit to see if there's any easy to get gems here. Am I allowed to mine these? I am. This will be a valuable little cluster. Okay, I really need to be stocking up on bombs because those are what give me access to areas like that, which are worth tons of money. I think if I go like that and then release another kind of bomb, I'll actually be able to work my way in there. So close to a million dollars after that. I think I'm going to go up just a little bit more to see if there's anything I'm missing. While I'm here, I think I'm actually going to buy alchemy for only $100,000. I might even make my way all the way back up to the next platform because I know there's an upgrade somewhere there that I really want and I could probably afford it now. Found a hammer. $5,000 for the hammer. Is it worth picking up all these emeralds? I guess it probably is. I'll get them and bring them up because there's not as many valuable gems down as deep anyway. Except for, I just screwed that up. But maybe the other bomb's gonna save me? I'll use the T-bomb. Nope, what if I... Nope. Emeralds are overrated anyway. Wasn't actually as far to get back here as I thought it was going to be. Now what upgrades do they have here for me? Fuel container, rock drill. That was the one. Two million dollars. Right. It was more expensive than I thought. But nothing's too expensive for my weird little drill. I made my way to the emeralds. I see four more of them than I should have, but I got them. And the other half. I'll get a nice bonus, if anything. So it's looking like to save up the $2 million I want, I am going to have to go back down to the deeper stuff, because that's where the value is. It's super tempting to mine out pockets like this, but I don't think it's worth the time, because that's mostly all platinum and emeralds. There's way more valuable stuff, not too far down. Pretty sure I can almost reach that. If I blow this up, is that going to blow up my... Yeah, I didn't want to blow that up. That's all right. I kind of want to see exactly what kind of bonuses I get if I keep mining this stuff. Oh, I'm getting different stuff because of my smelter, though. I'm not going to get any streaks out of this. Mind out two rows. What is that going to be worth? Probably, well, 85000 actually is not bad. I found one of the pink things I need to be collecting, but I don't know how to get it yet. So for now, I'm going to focus on the diamonds. Actually, I probably need to mutate those X's into the other things. But I'm finding far too many gems to care right now. Like here is four of the Amazonites right beside each other. Not to mention diamonds combined with Amazonites. Amazonite plus lightning. And it's time to hastily make my way back towards the surface because I get focused on gems and not gasoline. All right, so we're going from 800 40,000 this time, all the way up to a million and something. 1.2 million. And now I'm kind of wondering, do I need the rock drill for anything? For now, I'm going to take the drill speed. Not that the drill speed is holding me back in any way. And also maybe cargo size, which I can't afford. Hull strength though, sure. I don't know why I never bought one of these before, but I'm going to get the teleporter. I'm going to buy two of them because I'm stupid. That way, if I get lost way down there, I won't have a problem. I can teleport back. And also maybe a few electron bombs while I'm at it. All right, let's wander down a little bit further to hopefully find a little bit more valuable. Then we're just going to teleport back to the surface. Also, let's test to see if my theory is correct. I should be able to use this. Nope. Still don't know how to get down there. I like this little pocket of material. Don't know what the value of it is offhand, but it's gonna be quite a lot. Time to put this teleporter to the test. And please take me back to somewhere good. It's awfully dramatic. And we're good. All right, $55,000. We're going to make a lot of money on this trip. About $600,000. A little better than $600,000. So the teleport is definitely worth it. Time to go even deeper for even more valuables. Basically playing a game right now called Diamonds or Better. If it's not a diamond or better, I'm not going to bother to mine it. Pretty sure it was somewhere in this neighborhood where I started to panic last time because I really wanted to get through all this. It's so much more relaxing when you have a teleporter you know you can use. A pocket of diamonds? Yes, please. Hey, it's the first one of these I could actually access. Right as we're out of fuel, back to the surface, surrounded by valuables. I found the thing. Can I have an upgrade now? Wow, I have almost a million dollars after that single run. And since there's nothing else I immediately want to buy, where it is diving back in. There's so many of them. They're just clustered together everywhere. Hello? 
Uh, yeah, good for you. I'm looking for gems though. If you don't have any of those, don't care about your story. Okay, we're gonna play a new game. It's gonna be Amazonite or better, which is things like this. Whatever that guy is, keeps sending me transmissions, which is annoying. I'm just trying to dig here. That's all I want. Running out of the shaft bombs now, which is kind of annoying. Those are really great at getting me past the obstacles, but running out of fuel anyway, so gonna gather the last few gems I can, like more of this electronium. Get out of here, whoever you are. Bye. And then back to the surface we go. And that put us over two million dollars, so I could get a rock drill if I wanted it, which I still might. Yeah, I can't resist. I hate blowing up rocks to get them out of my way. If I can drill through them, that'll be good. I also never really paid attention to the fuel converter that converts any iron into fuel, which would be handy, but it's not a rock drill. Was that a wise investment of two million dollars? I don't know yet. Now I just hopefully need to find more than two million dollars worth of gems amongst the rocks to justify this purchase. Even distance saving me the time to drill straight down through rocks is probably going to be worth it by itself. I seem to have found a layer that's almost impassable. Luckily for me, I do have a few bombs, but without those, this would have been a lot of damage to try and get through. Lots of Amazonite down here. I think these are about as valuable as gems are going to get, along with the lightning bolts that are called Electronium or something, which I can access using my rock drill. All the way through, got one of those. Almost worth it. And uh, I assume whatever's down there is what I'm after, like my long-term goal. I don't think I can get down there until I figure out how to get past these black things. I didn't expect to hit the bottom when I did. That kind of threw me off, so I didn't find nearly as many gems as I should have. I thought I was going to be able to keep going into gem land. So for now, I guess I'll just fly around, collecting whatever gems I can find, and trying to collect those pink things I think I need to get through there. I did manage to find my way into another one, bit of a problem-solving thing. And another one, starting to see it's kind of just a problem-solving thing. And I can solve all my problems with C4. Did manage to get a pretty full cargo on that one, so going from about $100,000, probably up to over a million. Nope, 700,000. Still pretty good. Found an interesting little spot of all the gems in ore in their order of value. Little over a million dollars in the bank after that. Let's go see if we can find the last of my little pink quest item things. I'm pretty sure in this case, if I use this bomb, I can do that, and then I can blow this block up so I don't take damage. Nope, bigger bomb? Yep, that did it. I just caught what it was called. It's called Unobtainium. It's kind of hard to decide when to use these, because the bombs themselves cost $30,000, so whatever I get has to be worth more than that. Plus, I have to be willing to probably take some damage. Alright, so we'll make our way in past another one. Luckily for me, I have this $2 million bit that's going to save me one extra bomb here. And I can even use this little pocket to heal up a little bit, and then I can make my way into these things. Two Electroniums, one tank of gas, and then I can get healed up anyway. Ooh, I'm almost dead. I was not really paying close enough attention. This should be the last one I need. My take a second to get over there but we're gonna blow away up and get in there all right number six is hopefully we'll unlock something new is it worth breaking into this yeah i think it probably is unless i miss with my bomb so i guess we'll get to that spot later the unobtainium changed color on that one i don't care to collect any more of them right now anyway though they probably are pretty valuable well without my magic bomb anyway i can't get in there so i'm not gonna bother digging back to the surface and let's see what we got we're going from 1.08 million up to probably close to two Yep, 1.87 million. So we're gonna buy some more of those bombs that change things around because I think those might get me through at the bottom. I don't remember really what it looked like, but you can never have too many electron bombs anyway. And some more of these. And yeah, just everything. And lastly, I think I'm actually gonna upgrade my whole strength because I'm taking a lot of damage from things. And then let's go see what's hiding down here. Tempted to get in there and mine that. I think I'm actually gonna. Just because I can. One of everything in the game, including that. Aether stone now, I guess because it combined into something new. And I think we reached that point again. Wait, can I just go down here? But I've done this the entire time. Apparently I am at the planet core. Look at all that stuff. That would be so valuable. Do I have shaft bombs to get through all that? I'm going to see if I can. I don't want to help you guys or pick things. I just want to mine. Who's who? You? I'm apparently locked in now. Mr. Fix-It. Oh no, I wasn't going to. Yeah, that's great. No, can I just, yep, do this? Am I supposed to touch this? Mine it? What am I doing here? Oh, don't touch that. Maybe I should have brought more bombs. Why do you have bird feet? Am I supposed to be doing something? Okay, I'm gonna stop touching that now. I did luckily... Okay, oh, I did bring some repair kits, which I'm probably gonna need. This is very loud. Okay, I didn't realize this was gonna happen. I need to follow it to the surface without crashing into things. I'm totally gonna die here. Use my repair kit. Uh-oh. Oh, this is where I want to be. Oh, you're supposed to survive this. I've got such valuable cargo too. This isn't fair. I should have had faster up speed. I think I see a bit of a pattern. I think it goes back and forth ever so slightly. Oh, I cut back up to it. Okay, cool. Maybe I will survive after all. Only 4,200 feet left after all. And I'm back in the red goo. Hopefully I still get the mine after this. There's a lot of stuff down there I still want. Final 2,000 feet. It's actually easier if I can follow the bird's feet because then I know which direction it's going without getting too surprised. Hey, we made it. Can you go somewhere else, please? Oh, I can get repaired and stuff here. Cool, can I load my cargo though? I kind of want some money for all this hard work I've been doing. You wait over there. 
Don't mind me. All right, what is it I'm supposed to be doing now? Probably not touching that. Mining? Am I supposed to be mining this thing? I don't know what I'm doing. I spent what little money I had left on repair kits because I assume if I leave this area, I'm going to start taking damage again. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I supposed to bomb it from below or something? Hello? Oh, that does hurt it. Interesting. Okay, well, come on down. I'm just going to bomb you anytime you're close. Oh, too much damage. I can just repair myself here, but it's not a great idea because it's very expensive. All right, well, I know you stop right about here. This is actually a fairly detectable pattern now. He just goes in circles. So as long as I play this smart, I will have this under control. A couple more hits ought to do. One more hits. One more hit. No, that might be it for him. Never mind. There's more. We're following it up once again. Oh, this time it has even more twists and turns. Good. I'm way into the red goo now because I kind of missed a turn. Okay, we're back. I'm a low on bombs though. Can you like make this easier on me? I think if I sit here, it can't actually hurt me. So I can just do this again and again with whatever bombs I have. You think my electron bomb does extra damage? Oh, that did quite a bit. These are really expensive to be using, but I mean, I'm kind of running out of options. I'm just happy I found a way to make this one so easy. Think I can have it be right now? One more time. Can you die for good? Nope, here we go again. So let me get my few repair kits out that I have left, and hopefully I'll be able to do this without taking any more damage. I'm going to see if I can use the same strategy and just hide. So far, it's looking pretty promising. As long as I sit right here, I can just go like that, and easy. I'm hoping this is the final form before the surface, because this is taking a long time because it has so much health. Going to try and finish it right here with two bombs. Didn't quite get it. One vertical bomb left, and then I'm back to only another kind of bomb. Is it done now? Oh, it's not done. Not even close. Okay, I think we're getting close to the surface, though. So if I manage to survive this little debacle, I'm out of repair kit. So this is it for me. I've got to do this. And I died by crashing into that. I was at the surface. Do I get to try it again? I'm not going all the way back down so I can chase that thing all the way back up. I bought a $2 million rock drill. That's good enough for me. 